question. If it was signed into law, then why is the Supreme Court involved? Of course, we're talking about Obamacare and what that means for Americans and their health care coverage. Hmm. And here to help us sort it all out is our defense attorney, John Patrick Dolan. John, thank you for joining us as Absolutely. you do Good every morning. Monday. And we always enjoy Mondays because we take a look at the, the top news stories and, and we always say, what would John you know, say about this? So, what would John think? Uh, yeah, of course, the, the first story that we want to talk about is Obamacare and, and the hearings that we've been uh, you know, hearing about in the Supreme Court. Can you tell us the the latest on that. Well, sure. It's pretty extraordinary that you have three days of oral arguments in front of the Supreme Court, but this is instructive for everybody to understand how our um, government works. Mm -hmm. uh, the Supreme Court has the obligation of looking at laws that Congress passes to determine whether or not they're constitutional, and that's why they scheduled these three days. On Monday, the argument was, is this a tax or is this a penalty? Because if it is a tax, there is a theory of law that says you can't bring a lawsuit until somebody gets taxed and either pays or refuses to pay the tax. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be resolved in the uh, favor of it's a penalty rather than a tax, although there was a little funny colloquy between one of the justices and one of the people that represented the uh, Attorney General's office, or the, the uh, yes, the Attorney General's office, where they said, you know, tomorrow it'll be a tax, today it's a penalty. Mm -hmm. The second day was important because that was about the question about the mandate, and the fundamental constitutional issue is can the government compel you to buy a product uh, because it contacts um, interstate commerce. And that's a really uh, big departure from the historical analysis of the cases that we've seen. And then the third day was, can you sever it from the mandate? Can the other things be severed up? So the, the court has a big job on their hands. And it's interesting to see how the arguments went back and forth. Those of us who are interested were watching on C-SPAN to see all the arguments and hear all the arguments. Um, I have to say that it's very interesting. We're going to get a ruling probably in June. It'll be right in the middle of the election cycle. And it will really tell us a little bit about where the election's going to go and what kind of spin each party puts on this. One other thing we wanted to talk about is America's watching the Trayvon Martin story right. unfold. He was shot and killed by a neighborhood watchman. What's going on there? Well, it's interesting. People don't quite understand, I guess, how it works. You know, when, when there's an a, a offense, or at least a potential offense, you have to look at two things, an act and then criminal intent. And what happens with law enforcement is the first thing they do is detain someone, then they determine whether or not there's probable cause to arrest, and then prosecution gets involved in charging, and then you have litigation. In this case, um, Zimmerman was retained, uh, or detained rather, mm -hmm. but uh, prosecution consulted with law enforcement and said we really don't have enough for probable cause at this point, although right. there needs to be an investigation. And so he has not been actually arrested and charged yet. There is now a special prosecutor. The special prosecutor, I'm sure, will do a thorough job. I think what everybody needs to recognize is you don't just arrest someone because there is an act. There has to be an act plus criminal intent, and this investigation is going to take a while, and I think everybody needs to just calm down and let the system unfold. The prosecutor is probably going to come to the grand jury and see about getting an indictment, and then we'll decide what needs to happen in the mm. case. But everybody that's haranguing about what should happen before we get the investigation done is just creating problems for, and, and of course, when, when you hear that there's a bounty on Mr. Zimmerman's head, oh, you man. have to ask, mm. you know, what's going on here? It's a, it's a very tragic circumstance, and hopefully if everybody comes down, the system will operate in a way that will allow us to find justice for Trayvon and for the others involved. That's well, very informative. Any, uh, yeah, Thank you so much. We'll wait to see that. how that's going to unfold. If you have any questions, here's how to get a hold of John Patrick Dolan. <laughs> and, uh, the website right there, dolanlawoffices.com. And of course, you can answer most of your legal questions. John, thank you for joining us sure. this morning. We'll be right back.